Hi everybody, OP is here. Back on the road. Stayed home for about three days, give or take. And I'm back on the road again. Wonderful day here in Oregon. I'm about I'm about to hit Cabbage Hill, which is one of the worst passes in the United States. Very long, very steep, very dangerous. Closed often in the winter time. I avoided it like a plague, but you know, unfortunately, I 84, the one I always take out to go anywhere. In the summertime, I go through Seattle and I 90 often, depends where my load is coming from. But in the winter, this is the only way to get out of here. Um, but I always play around day that I'm gonna be leaving based on the weather here, you know, at this place. It's right east of Pendleton, Oregon. If you're curious, you can look it up. By the way, this willow tree, it's hard to see on the camera. It's already becoming greenish. So spring is definitely coming. Yeah, absolutely cannot see it on the camera. But it is, it is greener. You know, it becomes green color. Anyway, I wanted to talk quickly about those balloons. All that hype. All that balloons, Chinese spy equipment, blah, blah, blah. From the moment I heard about it, I thought this has got to be some kind of cover up for something. They're covering something up. It's just too much. Number one, I said it before, I'll say it again. How do we know if those balloons were even there? Did you see it? Yeah, you know, some people supposedly saw something up in the sky and took pictures, you know, like one of my subscribers did. But still, how, how do you really know what was there? Maybe it was weather balloon. Maybe it was, who knows what it was, you know. Um, and maybe it was indeed a real balloon. I'm not totally discounting the possibility that there was a real balloon. But I, the way they were, the media was so... Uh, excited about these balloons it just made me think that they are covering something up and what I'm gonna share with you I think makes sense at least to me let me know in the comments what you think uh, several days ago almost a week ago there was huge train wreck in Ohio you did not see media covering that story up did you I didn't Maybe they did a little bit, maybe, for well, the most part they didn't. It was huge chemical spill into Ohio River. Bunch of dead fish. Uh, people had chickens that died. Now, can you imagine the uh, impact on health of people? If fish and chickens die, it was really bad, bad, bad chemical spill. Uh, you can look it up on the internet, there's pictures. Uh, somehow it got ignited and was burning. And the, all the smoke that also became big, big cloud. I'm not joking, look it up. It looks like an explosion from a nuclear bomb. The mushroom cloud looks just like nuclear bomb, you know? And so, uh, in my opinion, all that, all that uh, hype about balloons, once again, those balloons may have been real. Anything is possible. But I think the reason why they were stressing so much about balloon situation is to get your attention away from the truth from reality from the real danger because balloons you know uh yeah if if it's true they had spy equipment on them they were spying on something but you don't really need that you have satellites you can see uh, 
you can see everything from those satellites they're so um you know the equipment on them is so precise you can you can read newspaper from satellite for what you need to send balloon you know think about it for a minute you don't need you don't need to send a balloon and if they did for some reason maybe there was a reason who knows anything is possible all i know and i'm convinced that the real reason why they were so hard at covering the balloon situation is because this situation in ohio was completely out of control you know some people say it's going to be 20 years before those chemicals gonna just eventually disintegrate or break down whatever whatever you want to call it until then all those people are being poisoned on a daily basis this is the moment when you need to have your bug out bag and um, get out of the area you know as soon as you can have your stuff ready hopefully more than bug out bag whatever you can fit in your car and leave you know the sooner the better if fish and chickens are dying you might be next thanks for watching everybody give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe share this video if you find it interesting or useful take care